Hello everyone, Yensid Organist here, and welcome to another episode of Orglecraft. I hope you guys are having a great day today. In the last episode, we built up this next villager trading area. This is kind of our industrial revolution, and we've got our toolsmiths, our weaponsmiths, our armorsmiths. We got a leather worker, we got a fletcher, um, and we have this area all done up very nicely for them. And I'm really, really happy with how that turned out. We also built a stone slash cobblestone generator here, and that was about all that we had time for. Now, at the end of that episode, I had said I was going to do a little bit of work on this area in between episodes. We were also playing around with a um, possible like miniature compact tree farm design here that just didn't quite work out. And I really didn't like the idea of doing that kind of work off camera between episodes. I want to be I want to be able to do that as part of the episode. So what we're going to do to start things out is we're actually in a little bit just going to do a time lapse of working on this. I'm going to be working on this on my Wednesday night live stream. Uh, uh, Wednesday nights, 9.30 Eastern. Uh, join us if you want to have some fun and hang out and get to, to have input on what's going on in this world. Um, so yeah, so we're going to do that. We're going to do that as a little bit of a time lapse as we do some variation. But what I wanted to do to start this episode off is I actually want to do a little bit of work just kind of portioning off the next section of the base. So we've got kind of our industrial area here. We've got our, our village workers. We're going with our little farms that we're going to have in here. The next part of the base that we're going to have is going to be kind of the um, modern. I feel like there was one more farm I wanted to include. Uh, well, if I think of it... <laughs> So yeah, so the next the next area is going to be um, kind of like the modern era, and this is where we're going to have our um, concrete maker. So I want to just kind of just do a little bit of work sorting out that that's not where that's supposed to go. That was supposed to be the torch. <laughs> um, just kind of trying to get a rough idea for where um, the the next couple areas of the base are going to. be. And I actually, now that I look at this, hmm, let's see here. This might be more space than I need over here, so let's maybe do something like this. Let's go... Let's maybe come this way. Do that. Yeah, I think that might be a little bit better. I might want to smooth this line out a little bit. Let's just break our way through here. And then I can take the rest of that down. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Because um, I want to be able to... I think I want to put the... the I'm stuck. <laughs> I think I want to be able to put the concrete jenner kind of, kind of in this area. So we'll go with that. And then I think the next part... I think maybe want to bring it along here. And this is going to prevent me from being able to get up <laughs> to this area, but that's okay. And then I've actually I've been doing a little thinking of how um, I wanted to kind of to wrap everything up. And originally I was going to have my like living quarters at the top here, but as I thought about it, I was like, actually, in the ride there's like um, they have the thing where it's uh, current in the current iteration of Spaceship Earth. It's um, like the invention of the personal computer, and it's done in a garage. And I was actually thinking that would be a really, really good way to um, to a, a really good way to to put our um, like living quarters in this area. So let's maybe just kind of partition this off here and we'll have that and then the rest of this essentially will be um, the top part of the base which I have plans for but I'm not revealing those just yet so yeah so I think that's good that's gonna give us a good a good frame of reference for um, for where everything else is gonna go in this base and yeah, so we are going to work on building up this whole area, and we are going to do that in a time lapse. So enjoy.
welcome back everyone hope you enjoyed the time lapse the villagers are all apparently playing the floor is lava except for a couple of them there <laughs> they were all up on workstations a minute ago anyway um i was having a little bit of trouble with my internet connection at the end of the stream and my camera account kept dropping out so I didn't quite get everything, so I finished a little bit off camera, but here is what we have. So we've got our walls all the way around, and they're not done. They still need some texture work, um, but at least we, we have the room finished off. I've got the three levels of the floor in here, so we kept with the smithing table here. We used the um, blast furnace for the floor here, where we have our um, stone and cobblestone generator, which I moved over to be a little bit more central in this area. I didn't like that it was way over in the corner. And then up here, this is where we're going to have our tree farm. And I think rather than trying to do anything fancy, I think we're just going to have a little plot where we can bone meal up a tree, cut it down, and then repeat the process from there. So, yeah, so this is all coming along very nicely. Also have cauldrons as the ceiling and a little bit of um, acacia logs to, to kind of set it off. And what I did up top here was I put sea lanterns all across the top and since the cauldrons are transparent or slightly transparent you actually get the light coming through so it makes that a little bit more gray make it just kind of brightens it up a little bit and looks really good we have the catwalk that I brought all the way over here and you'll notice we have a couple of doors there this one is not functional, but that one actually will be. And I did a little thing over here. This was suggested by one of the viewers. Um, was to put some ender pearls. You can put them in the blast furnace as a little bit of storage. So if I don't have any ender pearls on me, they're right in there, and we can quickly get up to the top. And so this one is just goes right here. Doesn't doesn't do anything. But this one over here. Um, comes around the corner and takes us backstage if you will um and i think we might i might put some bulk storage back here i haven't decided exactly what i'm going to do i also still need to get that librarian villager which i said i was going to do in the last episode and didn't do but anyway whoops didn't make it through the door all right there we go so yeah so this is our industrial area and i'm i'm really happy with how it's coming along um I do want to enclose this, and I have an idea for what to do, but we're going to save that for a little bit later. Um, because as you will know from the title, this is not what I intend to do for this episode. And I actually need to make a new way out of the base, a little quick escape. And I think maybe we'll actually go up here and do it, and I will just... Um, that's not going to work either. <laughs> yeah, it's fine, we'll put it here. There we go. So, we will just... Let's see, I have to put it someplace where it's very clearly wrong, but that'll work. And, ooh, um... Up to this point, the mobs had no way of getting in. Now they have a way of getting in. That's nah, not gonna work. Alright, anyway, I'll figure that out later. So, what we are doing for this episode, as I'm sure the title will have given away is we are going to be working with bees, which I have yet to do in this series. So I'd like to get a little bit of a honey farm going, and it is going to go in this building over here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to come and set up right out here, and I'm going to clear some of this grass off, hopefully. There we go. And I think we'll use this area... Uh, maybe down here might be a little bit better. So, I just clean off the grass. Which needed to be done anyway. Alright, so, I have here in my inventory some saplings, some flowers, and some bone meal. So what we're going to do is we're just going to plant a row of saplings along here. 
and we're gonna go we'll just go we'll go the whole way across perfect all right and then we're gonna leave a one block gap and plant flowers and then when we bone meal these trees over here there will be a chance that they come in with a beehive on it so let's see how many it takes to get there all right, one set of trees down, and nothing. Let's clear this out and try again. Round two. Round three. There we go. All right. Let's see, it only took, I don't know, 35 trees. <laughs> but there, we finally have a bee's nest, and the sun is is going down and I don't have my ender chest on me so let me go sleep real quick and then we will check this out all right so let's see what we got we have two bees yay and then if I take these flowers they're gonna be like hey we are your friends so we're gonna feed that one and we're gonna feed that one and then we should get a baby bee! There it is! Very, very cute. Awesome! Cool! So then they will... I'd get this flower out of my hand because all they want to do is follow me. So then what they will do is they will go back and forth to this bee's nest here. And then when this gets full, we can get um, use bottles to get honey out of them. And we can also shear it to get honeycomb. So... Yeah, then to, of course, to be able to move this, um, we're going to need to place a campfire underneath it, which I brought a few along, and that will allow us to be able to silk touch this and move it to a better location, and the bees are flying all the way over there. So, yeah, so we've got this started. I am going to keep doing... Um, few um keep keep spawning up trees here i want to i want to try to get a few more of these beehives going um are they ever gonna come back <laughs> hopefully they're gonna come back um because i'm not sure i want to move it if they're not in it so anyway i'm gonna get a few more of these made and then we will start working on our honey farm so, quick little update for you here. I don't have any more beehives yet. Um, also, bee number one flew off that way and disappeared. Bee number two flew off that way. I lured him back over here. Baby bee is here. So, I've lost one of the bees already. Don't know where it went. But I decided to move this hive over here. And put down a bunch of flowers so they didn't decide to wander very far. So I have two of them here so far. But I just saw that this popped up as full. So we should be able to um, get honey out of here and or honeycomb. I'm not quite sure how this works So because I haven't played with this before. So let's go ahead and if we do that... Hey, hey, there we go. We got our honey. Now, I don't think that I can shear it now. I think I can only shear it when it's full. Hopefully, I can do this and not make him mad. Okay, no, we cannot shear it, so we'll have to wait until it's full to be able to do that. All right, so yeah, just wanted to do a quick little update with that. We have our first bottle of honey. And we will go from there. Yeah, so let me keep working on this. Well, after many more trees planted, I still don't have any more. Um, and I also discovered apparently they get bored with their flowers after a while, because I've had a number of them um, wandering off to try to find uh, some other flowers. So what I ended up actually doing was just um, breaking all of the ones that were here and then replanting them, and that is getting them here. But... We have four bottles of honey, so we're going to go ahead, and now we have our first honey block. Yay. And both of these are filled, and I've got a pair of shears here, so we're going to go ahead and shear these and get the honeycomb out. So we're going to do that. And that. And now we should be able to make some new things. So what I actually want to do 
is make up a crafting bench. I also was able to breed them, so I'm back. I'm back to six. One, two, three, four, five. I think there's probably still one in there, unless it's wandered off. Okay, but we should actually be able to make bee nests. So let's see what we've got now. So we can do that, and we can do that. Oh, you can put convert those back. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I didn't know that. All right. So there is a way to make. Um, a bee's nest. I don't know what it is. Let's 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 go ahead and make a honeycomb block, and maybe that is what we need? No. Okay. Well, I would have assumed that you needed something honey-related in order to make a bee's nest, but I'm going to have to do a little more digging on that, because that does not appear to be the case, and I don't think... Oh, we do have it. Okay, I need three honeycomb and then planks. So we don't quite have enough honeycomb from that yet. So we're going to need them to work a little bit more. And then we'll be able to make them, and then we can breed them. So then we'll be able to start getting um, a few more of these so that we can start our honey farm going. So I'm going to keep uh, planting and cutting down trees. I'm getting a lot of wood out of this, which is nice because I needed more wood. Um... Yeah, and we'll keep working on these as we go, and then hopefully we can get a bee's nest made pretty soon. Welcome back, everyone. As you can see, I've got three bee's nests and one beehive. I think I was calling these by the wrong name. Um, they each have two to three. I'm not actually sure if any are in here or not. Um, it does say it has two tags, but I don't know that that necessarily means anything. So, anyway... We've got enough to get started. So the first thing that we are going to do in here is we are going to build up a breeder. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right from here. And we're going to go ahead. we got to rip up all of the flooring in here. I forgot that I had lighting under there. Um... But yeah, so we are going to take up all of this carpet and we are going to replace it, um with uh, dirt so that we can plant flowers and so that we can have an area where we can get the bees bred. And then from there, we will make up our little modules where we can grab the um, the honey and the honeycomb so that we can make the, the various things that come out of this. So let me get this carpet out of here, and then let's just go ahead and get our wall built up so that we can figure out exactly where this needs to go. So I'm going to bring this along from right here, and essentially just going to take this and, um, hmm, I was going to say build it up to the ceiling. That, uh, that may be an issue. We may need to do something with that on the side where the baby bees are coming through. Um, oh, actually... It's just an issue at the corner there. So, yeah, because there's a, there's a f full block above everything in the middle. So we can come here. Yeah, and we can close that off. I think I'm going to leave the end rods in place. I think that will be fine because I don't think they'll be able to get through. And actually, based on where that is, we should be fine. All right, so then if we come in here... And unfortunately, there's an even number of blocks, so we're just going to have to deal with that. So we want to do our center, and I think let's go... Mm, let's see. We'll go off where the light is. So let's do... Actually, um, I was going to make up a wall, but that's actually not what I want to do. I want to take up some of this floor here. Because I want the andesite. I'm going to have to take all of this out eventually. But essentially what we're going to do is we're going to divide this area into um, two different spaces. One where we will have those bee nests that, we were, that we've already collected. Um, and then we'll have a place where our babies can come. Oh, and it's nighttime. All right, time to sleep. So we'll have a side where the babies can come and we can get them into new um, beehives and then we can get them transferred over. So what we're going to do here 
is I'm just going to convert all of this to polished slabs. I don't know if that will be enough or not. But we're going to go right along here and bring this across. And what this does is the babies are able to fly through a half block gap, but the adults are not. And so um, by doing this, we'll be able to get the babies over here and then the adults will stay over there. We're going to have to put those there to prevent the adult bees from coming through. Okay, so that is that. And then essentially just need to put down grass blocks um, and get all this filled in. So let me, let me get all of that done and then I will bring you guys back when we are ready to start breeding some bees. All right, our room is all ready here. I went and replaced the stone and andesite with some blue concrete just to kind of keep the color consistent around here. I want to tuck a chest over here just so that we can store things like the bottles and the honeycomb and the shears. All right, so I want to get these nests in here. So let's go ahead and... Um, let's, let's put them along the back here. So let's take out these two, that, and that. And then we're going to need to put our campfires down. There we go. And then we'll get the, uh, I'm missing one. Hmm. All right. Yeah, it's got to go, can it go there or does it need to go one above? It might need to go one above. I'm thinking maybe it needs to go one above. All right, let's go there and there. And I had a third one. Where did it go? Um, I don't know. By the way, I love the ambient noise of the beehives. I don't know if you can hear that. It, I know it's probably going to be a little bit soft in the video. Um, but yeah, whenever you're around them, you just hear bees buzzing. There it is. I was say, I knew I had... Uh, a third one of these. So, all right. So then we can put that there. And there's our bee. Excellent. And then I'm going to go ahead and just put some flowers down in here. And there we go. Hello, friends. All right. Now, is that a baby? That's a baby. Okay. I'd like to get two adults here. So if we take you and you then hopefully we will get a baby out of the mix. And I'm going to come over here and grab these shears, and let's go ahead and shear these up, because we're going to need to be able to make more bee nests on the other side. I'm going to sneak out here. Hopefully nobody else will sneak out with me. And then if I come over here, and let's... I'm actually... I don't know that this matters. Oh, hi! <laughs> oh, oh... Well, how did you get through? <laughs> um, hmm. So apparently the adults can get through, unless... Or is that a... Are they all babies? I can't tell. Oh, no, those are all babies. No, 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 the adults can't get through. They want to get through. I see them trying to get over here. <laughs> all right, so then we can just put a few of these over here. Yeah, now these guys are up at the top. I'm not sure why. Maybe they think they can get through there. So we might might break these um, so that... Yeah, cause, yeah, yeah, here are all the little babies. Yeah, they're definitely trying to get through up there. I wonder if I stop holding that if they'll go back down. Okay, they will. So let me... i tell you what. We're going to do... Whoop, this, because I think maybe they see that as a possible way to get through. What happened to my... Oh, I had them on me. <laughs> uh, of course. All right, so let's go ahead and do... Uh, it's going to be that one. No, no, no. Oh, okay, it's just a little baby. All right, that and that. All right, so then that will hopefully... Hopefully they won't all congregate near the top. But then we should be able to, theoretically, we could come here and um, and maybe 
I don't know. We might just have to go to that side. I'm not having. I'm not having any luck. <laughs> um, right clicking on any of these bees from over here. That's okay. The little ones are over here for sure. All right. So then, what we need to do? Make sure I get that out of my hand whenever I leave. We can come over here and just breed them directly. Hi guys. Who wants some flowers? No. No? Okay, fine. Alright. So then, let's go... I think that I probably have enough to make another bee's nest. So let's do that. Yep, there we go. And then, we will go ahead and put this on this side. And I think we'll just put first one right here. Oh, that was maybe not the best choice. Why is that under there? It's not even something that would be seen. <laughs> um, anyway, let's just fill that in with the... Um, yeah, we'll just do that. That's fine. Alright, so we'll put that there, and then we can put the bee's nest there. And then hopefully our babies will decide to come and populate this one. That is, that is the hope. We shall see. I'm not quite sure how it works. But essentially, that is our breeder all done. So what I am going to do now is I am just going to work on getting these guys bred up and then hopefully over here. And then when I've got a few of these full and ready to go, then I will bring you guys back and we will start making the little modules where we will be able to harvest the honey and the honeycomb. So I will see you in a little bit. Now I have been very slowly gathering bees for this farm. I have got five beehives that are full and I think I've got two over here that we're working on. So it it is slow progress, but we are getting there. But I figure while all of that is going on, I figure we, would, we could at least build the farm and then we can put the bees in once they are all ready. So this farm was designed by Il Mango, um, and I will link to it in the description. And so what we are going to do is we're going to go ahead... Oops, actually, that's not where I want that. So we're going to start here. We're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... And then we need some dispensers along here, so that's going to go there. We're going to bring this line all the way across. And then we'll fill up to here. There we go. One, two, three. Yeah, that's eight. Okay. And then we're going to do... I'm going to use wool blocks as my building block, and I'm using yellow because it's a honey farm. Although orange is probably a closer color, but that's alright. <laughs> so then we'll come around to the back here. There we go. And we're going to do another line right there. And then we need to do another line up here. Oops. Not there. Alright. And then if we come up if we come up, if I can actually get out of the hole. <laughs> so we're going to put comparators along here, and this is what's going to sense if the hives are full or not. And then we're going to do redstone along there, along the back, and then we're going to place glass on top of here. Use glass or slabs um, to cover that over. Bring that there, and another line out here, and then we're going to bring our red, oh, I can't get up to the ceiling, that's fine, I can catch it from here, so then we're going to just cover all of this in redstone, Let's see if I can manage to not fall in the hole, there we go. And then, that's done, and then I need to place dispensers facing down, and this is going to be easier if I can reach up there. So we'll just go ahead and pull the grass out real quick, and place our dispensers facing down right there. Okay, and get my grass block back. And then let's run this along there. 
and then we'll do glass all around the edges here keep the bees in and then we'll just need to place down flowers for them actually I think I don't place the flowers yet I think that comes after yep okay and then we need hoppers running into there and essentially that is the farm so what we'll do is we'll bring the beehives over we will place them there and then we'll place flowers down and then we'll enclose this whole thing the rest of the way in glass fill the dispensers up with bottles so that we can get that and then we'll have to have an output over here um, to collect everything but essentially that's the farm and then what I'm going to do in this area over here is build a little bit of a honeycomb farm that is a little bit more compact um, but honeycomb produces a lot more than the bottles so um, so you don't need quite as much to be able to get a lot of it so I'm going to keep working on getting our bees bred up so that we can get them in place I'm going to get the um, the honeycomb farm built up, and I will bring you guys back when this is all done. Welcome back, everyone. So the honeycomb farm module has been built up, but I am still in the process of breeding up bees. This one seems to be stuck up in the ceiling for some reason. Um, maybe we can convince him to come down and go into one of the hives. There you go. How about you go in there? Where'd he go? He must have gone in. I didn't hear the pop, but <laughs> I don't see him anymore. So this is a this is a very, very slow process. I've been trying to get the four beehives that we would need to go in here. Um but I only I only have one so far. I'm close to a second, but um, unfortunately I am running out of time to finish up this episode. So I wanted to just show this to you before we finished. So what's gonna happen is the beehives will go in there and then what we have is we have um, some tilled soil there and that allows me to put hoppers underneath so that way we can pick up um, any um, uh, honeycomb when we shear the the beehives and we, these are all full of shears we got some observers around the back um, and then the rail up on top to power those so yeah so I'll be working between episodes to get the rest of our bees bred up and get this all in and up and running we've been doing pretty well with the honey so far I got 22 blocks I could probably make a little bit more if we wanted to I also went out and um, I've been working on stocking this. The good news is you only have to stock it once because you get the bottles back. But um, we have eight modules here. I needed like eight shulker box worth, boxes worth of sand, and that was quite a lot to have to get. So I'm, I'm actually still working on that. But we are getting there. And yeah, so this has been quite a fun project to work on. Um, I'm really happy with how this room turns out. It's kind of like the perfect size for it, and I really like how um, everything kind of comes together here. I think I may want to go and play with the with the aesthetics of the sheep farm on the other side and see if we can't get it. Make blah, 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 blah. I'm struggling to talk here. <laughs> See if uh, we can't get it to look just as nice as this room does. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode today. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and share it with your friends. If you haven't already, I would encourage you to subscribe and make sure you click that little notification bell so you can stay up to date on all my latest posts. Be sure to follow me on social media, and I hope to see you on Wednesday nights for our live stream. Thanks for watching. See you real soon.